iPhones. What's up? This is our K phone 360 reader. It's time to talk about the best tips to fix autofill passwords not working on iPhone and iPad. Thanks to the seamless and secure autofill feature, logging into apps and websites feel ever so smooth sailing as someone who hates to remember passwords, let alone fill them up repeatedly and spare time to manage them. I love this feature more than anything else. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work as expected, but more than not, I have found out some viable tips to fix the issue. That said, let's jump right in. First off, make sure that iCloud Kitchen is enabled on your iPhone or iPad. To get going, ensure that you have enabled the iCloud Kitchen on your iOS or iPadOS device. While it may sound funny to many, it is always better to start with the basics. To get it done, open the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Then tap on your profile. After that, select iCloud. Now tap on Passwords and Keychain and then make sure that the toggle for sync this iPhone or iPad is turned on. Next, head over to any website or app and try to autofill the password to check if you have gotten the better at the problem. If you have, then it's time to go. Next up, I will suggest you to ensure that the autofill toggles for contact info and credit cards are enabled in Safari iOS allows you to enable autofill for contact info and credit cards in Safari. Thus, you can automatically fill out waveforms using your contact info and credit cards as and when the need arrives. To do so, open the Settings app on your device, then scroll down and choose Safari. After that, tap on Autofill, then turn on the toggles for Use Contact Info and Credit Cards. Then I would suggest you to allow filling from iCloud passwords and keychain. Another important thing that you should do without fail is to allow filling from iCloud passwords and keychain. To do so, open the settings app, then scroll down and choose passwords, then tap on password options. Under the allow filling from section, ensure that iCloud passwords and keychain is selected. Up next, I would suggest you to disable the private browsing mode in Safari. Note that the autofill password does not work in the private browsing mode in Safari. Therefore, if you are trying to use the autofill password in Safari, ensure that the private browsing mode is disabled. To do so, open Safari on your iPhone or iPad. After that, touch and hold onto the tabs icon at the bottom right corner of the screen and then choose a general tab or a tab group depending on your needs. After that, I would suggest you to be sure that you didn't delete your iCloud Kitchen data locally. Make sure you didn't delete your iCloud Kitchen data locally. Bear in mind that when you disable iCloud Kitchen on all your devices and choose to delete your iCloud Kitchen locally, it also wipes out your entire Kitchen data from iCloud servers. Then, I will suggest you to make sure you didn't use Kitchen Access to reset your iCloud Kitchen on your Mac. Ensure that you didn't use Kitchen Access to reset your iCloud Kitchen on your Mac. If you did it, Mac OS wiped out your iCloud Kitchen items. In this situation, you will need to set up iCloud Kitchen again. Do know that if you ever happen to reset your Mac Kitchen, make sure to temporarily turn off iCloud Kitchen in iCloud preferences before resetting the Mac OS Kitchen. Then, I would suggest you to make sure that the apps or websites support autofill passwords. Even though it's been several years since Apple introduced the autofill passwords, there are still many apps and websites that still do not support this feature. Therefore, ensure that the apps or websites where you want to use the autofill password feature support this feature. Up next, I will recommend you to make sure that you have added the login credentials for a specific website. It is important to point out that you must add the login credentials for a specific website to autofill. If you haven't done it yet, be sure to do it without fail. Then I would recommend you to force quit the app. At times, all you need to do to fix an ill-functioning app is to just force kill it. So whether the autofill pop-up does not seem to show or the app seems to feel unresponsive, give this nifty hack a try. Just swipe up from the home bar and then hold along the middle of the screen then swipe up on the app card to close the problematic app. 
And if you have an iPhone or iPad with a home button, simply double press the home button to bring up the app switcher and then swipe up on the app cards to kill the corresponding apps. After that, I would suggest you to turn off and on the autofill passwords. Many a time you can get rid of a common iOS issue by just turning off or on the feature. Considering how nifty yet effective it is, we will not miss out on this one either. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and choose passwords. Then tap on password options. Then turn off the toggle for autofill passwords. After that, restart your device and once your device has rebooted, enable the autofill passwords option. After that, I would suggest you to reset the password. Whenever I face the autofill passwords not working issue on my iPhone, one of the very first things that I try to do is to reset the password. On most occasions, this simple yet effective trick works wonders. To do so, head over to the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and select passwords. Then select the app or website in question and then reset the password as usual. Up next, I would suggest you to hard reset your iPhone or iPad. When you are up against an annoying issue like this one, you can't overlook hard reset considering how effective it has long been. On your iPhone 8 or later or iPad, without the home button, you have to press and quickly release the volume up button. Then you have to press and quickly release the volume down button. Then you have to hold down the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. And on your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you have to hold down the volume down button and the home button at once until the Apple logo appears on the screen. And on your iPhone 6s or earlier or iPad with the home button, you have to hold down the home button and the power button at once until the Apple logo shows up on the screen. Then I will suggest you to update all apps. If the autofill passwords are still not working inside specific apps on your iOS device, update all the problematic apps. To do so, open the App Store and then tap on your profile at the top right corner of the screen. Now scroll down to find the list of apps and then update them all. Next up, I will suggest you to update the software on your iPhone or iPad. These days, software bugs have become probably the biggest villain, especially on iOS. Therefore, I suspect a rare bug could be hindering the autofill passwords from functioning properly. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now tap on General. After that, tap on Software Update and finally download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS as usual. Up next, I would recommend you to delete and reinstall all the problematic apps. If you still can't autofill passwords for certain apps on your device, delete and reinstall them. Make sure to back up the data before going for the kill. Simply touch and hold onto an app icon and then choose Remove App. After that, tap on Delete App and confirm the action. Then open the App Store and find the apps in question and reinstall them. After that, I will suggest you to reset all settings. Factory Reset is another pretty reliable solution that comes in super handy when dealing with a persistent issue. Hence, I will suggest you to give it a shot as well. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Then tap on General. After that, tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone or iPad. Then tap on Reset. After that, hit Reset All Settings and confirm the action. Next up, I would recommend you to make sure that iCloud Kitchen is not facing any outage. If iCloud Kitchen is going through an outage, you can't do anything but wait until Apple fixes the problem. Hence, if the built-in password manager continues to struggle even after you have checked off all the basics, go to the Apple system status page and then make sure that the circle next to iCloud Kitchen is green. Just in case the iCloud Kitchen circle is showing orange, take a cup of coffee and allow the Cupertino giant to resolve the problem. And finally, I would suggest you to sign out of Apple ID and sign back in. Should the autofill functionality continue to misbehave, I would suggest you to sign out of Apple ID and sign back in. A fresh sign in may help in fixing the problem. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. 
after they tap on your profile, then tap on sign out and then confirm the action. Then sign into your account and you are good to go. That's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix autofill passwords not working on iPhone and iPad. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem. Now that you have sorted out the issue, let me know the trick that has worked for you and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye bye.